Um, so I wanted to talk to you. I know you and John were at the end of a divorce when Tamla died, or around that time. Correct? Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Um, so, what was y'all's situation at that time? Because I know there were some issues. Because she told me she put up security cameras, and y'all were having issues with the divorce. Yes. Um, but at the time of Tamla's death, what was kind of y'all's situation at that point? Uh, we were. We didn't have any issues at all unless it came up with kids. You know, that was um, that was our issue. We still were trying to figure out um, just kind of normalcy and what that looked like. So, of course, you know, when you're married 19 years and you have a routine, when you break routine, it's a little tough. So right. we were trying to come up with some normalcy as far as, you know, when we have the kids, when we don't, who's doing what, who's doing not. Okay. Um, she was unemployed, so lots of things were going on. So... Um, my, my, my issue really for, and, and it wasn't even, um, with us, it was her decision making sometimes at, you know, Jose was there at the house, he's a 26 year old kid, you know, and that was the issue I had, like, I was like, hey, um, you know, we're not making good decisions, and I understand we want to make, you know, people feel good, but, you know, Jesus, I, I mean, I, I knew Jose wasn't going to be there in the long term. So that was my concern because he was, you know, around. Now she's done my request as far as that. So I had the kids that weekend. Okay. So. So it was more her life, her decisions in her personal life, and how that affected your children. That's correct. Okay. That was the issues we had. I, I was always the breadwinner. I always made money. So the, the money issue and all that stuff never even bothered me at all. It was. Sorry. No, you're fine. I got to, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. You're I have a contract issue. Okay. Um. So you had said you had the kids that weekend. Yeah, the kids okay. Weekend. Were you living in the house that you're in now? Yes. Okay. So they were and they were with you. Yes. Um, were you with your now fiance yes, at the time? Okay. Had you ever met Tamla? Yes, I coached her son. Very nice one. Okay, so you knew her and Leander then? I never met Leander. Okay. Did you ever spend any time with Tamla outside of coaching her son? Like any kind of social events, anything like that that you were No. Okay. Did you know her to be friends with Jean yes. at the time? Yeah, okay. they, they used to. So, um, just kind of give you some history. You start developing friends with your children's parents, parents yeah. you know, so <laughs> yeah. baseball, football. So we were up in New Jersey. We were very tight with our football people. Um, so this was a first-year team, and then they started, to, you know, a lot of people started to kind of get to know each other. And I think Tam and Jean hit it off early because Tam had five kids, and we had five, four kids. And... Uh, they both knew the struggles of laundry and craziness of the whole night, so they clicked right. very, very well. And they were, you know, typical four-year-old moms. You know, they go out, they have, you know, they they work hard, they party hard. You know, right. Good time. So, you know, they would they would I I would coach, but I would start seeing them sitting in the stands. Um, together. Now, Jean didn't come to a lot of practices because I was the coach. I was there. Plus, right. we had, you know, three other kids, so she's running around doing all those things. Um, you know, but. Knowing Tam's personality a little bit on the sidelines and, and John's, it was like, okay, I can see those two, like, you know, having some good times together. Right. You know? Like, really, you know, kind of clicking. Sort of loud fun. Just, you know, just enjoying <laughs> themselves. And, and right. no one, I don't care who you are, you know, you, no one, if you don't have, if you have five kids, four kids, you just don't know. You right. Know, it's just a pandemonium of some craziness is going on. Even to the point at the dinner table, you're yelling across. Right. Just to get the potatoes, you know? Yeah. So, I, I have two and that's enough. So. Exactly. And I'm <laughs> yeah. the youngest of five, you know? Gotcha. So we were, Jean was an only child. So when we had a big family, she loved it. And she loved all the stuff. And she loved, you know, being together and stuff. So, like, I think even, I think it was a week or two before Pam and the kids were at the house doing pumpkins and stuff like that. Um, and then we had a good friend, Stacy Smith, where I think they all went trick or treating together. So um, I knew of Tam because she was in the community, and they used to play rec ball. So there's a lot of people that came in on our team. That was a that was a, a travel team. So you hear lots of people, or I played against other people in the community in the town, and kind of going from there. Right. 
Yeah, coming from not being a small town kind of is when you're doing the sports stuff. Mm -hmm. From I've been gathering that as I've been working this investigation. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she was there, you know, Peyton was good, Reese used to play with them. I mean, it was, you know, they were, uh, they were a good family, you know, we, I didn't know really too, uh, and that's, you know, I, I was getting to know a lot of different families, but, you know, she was always there, they were on the sidelines, you know, they had, uh, I heard stories, never witnessed, you know, everyone has a little bit, you know, the Yeti cups, yeah. you know what I mean, and kind of just chilling out and doing their thing, you know. Gotcha. But, Do you ever hear of any of the other moms having any issues with Tam? Anything that no, uh, you they know. were all in the mix. I know we did one barbecue. We did a barbecue for the kids, and they were all—all all the parents came in and bought condiments and doing stuff, and they were there, and everyone had a good time. And I know people knew of Tam and liked Tam because um, she, she seemed like she was in the football program, you know, and, and the other stuff. So you could just kind of see people talk, communicate, like almost at a party. You kind of see, like, hey, you know what's going on, okay? So there was no separate. She was right in the. She was in the thick of. You know, she was in the center, but she was in right in the mix of the thick of things. She would talk to anybody. You know, she knew people and. Okay. Um, on November fourth, two thousand eighteen, where were you that night? Do you remember? Was, uh, I know you said you had the kids, but so the the night that that Tam. Died. I was at the house. Um, I don't even think we did. I think we were at the house. We either went out to the movies or we went to dinner. I even forget. But I knew we were at the house because I had the kids. And then uh, I don't remember where I was. I know it was at the house with the kids. I forget what we were doing. I remember when I got the call from my mother-in-law. That's who called me the, that morning. I'd have to go back and check. But, yeah, we were, I think... We, went to the movie. we always be there. If I had the kids, we're either out, dinner, this, that, movies, or whatever. But we were all together. Yeah. And I know I'm asking you to recall stuff from two no, years ago. Fine. I get that. So it's not. So usually on weekend nights, Saturday nights, you guys would go somewhere, dinner, movies. Yeah, we're, we are. I mean, we're, we are either at Red Robin, AMC, uh, somewhere outlets. Anytime I had the when I had the kids... It was just completely with the kids that was in all the distractions. We would go together and go from there. And that would have been all four of your children? Oh, we were always together. Okay. All right. And you said your mother-in-law called. Did you know that Jean was having a party that night? I think, I'm trying to think. I don't remember if I knew she was having a get-together because we kind of didn't do things on a social level. Right. Um, I don't know if I remember or not. Okay. Um, do you remember what? So that was her mother that called you the next morning? Yeah. What did she tell you? She basically was kind of freaking out on the phone. I was at the Waffle House off of, uh, with my son, Bo. We went to bre We got up early, went to have breakfast, and we were bring Waffle House back to everybody. Uh, I got a phone call from her, and I was like, what? This is weird. Why is she calling me this early morning? Um, and she was frantic on the phone going, Maddie, uh, uh, John had a party last night, and... You know, I think one of, one of the girls died over there. I'm not quite sure. You need to get over there. And I go, okay. I, 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 oh, so I, I dropped off Bo, and then I went down, you know, to the house. It looked like the fucking Cuban Missile Crisis. Right. So once you got there, did you talk to John at all? Mm -hmm. Did you talk to any of the police officers outside when you got there? What did they do? Did they tell you anything? Uh, they were limited. They just, you know, kind of, you know, you get there and you see everything all taped off. Right. You see uh, a lot of them, they just got, it looked like, they looked like they just got done separating all the girls, like the women that were there. Okay. Um, and, you know, they were, some people were, they were just kind of all over the place, you know. Police officers were with people. Uh, a lot of people were inside the house. They were, like they, they were waiting for the coroner to come in. Everyone's kind of freaking out, you know, going, what the hell? A lot of girls looked like they were in shock because when Jean called, you know, piece things together, when Jean called them, she couldn't tell them when to come back to right. her. So they walk in going, well, what the hell is this? So everyone is kind of like, what? Um, and you could just kind of see the pure just horror on everyone's face, you know? You're like, everyone's white, everyone's crying, everyone's in shock, you know? And it was like... You're like, holy shit, you know, and 
and then you're trying to figure out who it was, you know. Right. Because um, I don't remember if my mother well, told me it was tan. She just said one of the girls. And I'm like, so now I'm going through my head. Well, who, who could? It, I'm going through all the roll decks of Jean's friends that I know. Like, right. holy shit, you know, who, who could be one of these people? And then she said it was tan, and I'm going, oh my god. So Jean was the one that told you that it was tan. I think so. Yeah. yeah. What did Jean tell you? Uh, so basically, kind of, she was shaking, kind of freaking out, and she was just like, you know. Uh, I don't know what she told me because the information I'm getting is kind of tainted because I know all the right. information. Yep. Uh, but she was just basically going, hey, you know, she she was in the backyard. She was lying down, face far, you know, kind of down because I'm like, you know, I, I have all kind of questions. I hang on, what, what the hell happened? You know, and then I'm um, sitting there going, okay, what, what, what the hell could have possibly happened with this, you know? Right. And then also I'm trying to figure on as she's talking and scanning who was there, who wasn't, whatever. Um, so to kind of tell you what she exactly said would be tainted right. from all the information I know afterwards. Yeah. But she was just shaking, going, "I, you know, I can't believe this happened," you know, and and you know, she's 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 dead. Um, I know she was super freaked out because I think Lee was calling her phone, but no one was able to talk to her, answer the phone. So I know that kind of hit her hard because she's like, Lee's reaching out to her, the phone's there, and no one can, no one. No one can tell him. Yeah, and then so she was. That kind of hit her pretty hard. Going, ah, this man's home, and that's why Sarah's going to know about it right now. Right, like that. Yeah, you know, she's just that kind of hit her pretty hard. And then she was just freaking out, like, oh my god, you know, the kid, like, you know. I think after she went to initial shock, because I got there a little bit later, so now she's rolling through her head like, oh shit, his kids, Lee, what do you do? Right. Kid, like, you know, oh my god, you know, like. And then also, you know, it didn't hit her probably to, like, the magnitude of this shit, but, like, oh, my God. You know, yeah. like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Right well, and I mean, she told me she still had that time to even really grieve it because it was they just kept going, 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 going. So. Right. And, well, um, and it just, I, it, it, on a side note, it was just sad because it was like, you know what? And I, I'm not upset with Lee. It, this could have went a whole different way. Right. You know, this could have been like, hey, let's pull together. Let's figure the fuck out. Let's, you know. Well, and I mean, you never blame anybody for wanting answers. No, no. For what happened to their loved one. But it was um, just, you know, I, there's other outside people that are right. so involved and so went up that you just go there and you go, what are you doing, you know? And, and in that, I think she, well, we'll talk about that and I'll just go, but we'll talk about Michelle and what I think, not think, but kind of the synopsis of what's going on because I don't think that she, I don't, re, I don't think Michelle and her were friends. Michelle and Tamla. Yes, we're very good friends. But I don't think Michelle understood how many friends Tamla had because she was so involved with other things that Michelle was not. Right. So what happened was Mich- Michelle spent, um, Tamla spent a tremendous amount of time at football and other things with her kids. So even though... And Michelle was not part of that no, football no. family. Okay. And also, too, is not to be uh, ugly or whatever case, they were on a different economic plane. You know, and I think there was an issue with that with Mich- with Michelle. You know, because you know one of those things is like that's my friend. You know, because it's like right. we didn't know her. She was at the house doing pumpkins. Like that's an like intimate thing with yeah. kids. You know, it's not like hey, I mean, I'm not gonna go to your house and just go hey, I cut them over. I'm like, if well, you got kids, you're setting things up, you're doing pumpkins and you're carving and they're drinking wine and they're doing fun. Then we're out, Stacy, and they're trick or treating. Michelle's not there. Right. Those are intimate things that people do. Right. That you feel comfortable with and all that. I'm not taking my kids anywhere. I don't feel comfortable. Right. Know? Yeah. So I don't think Michelle knew all that information and all that stuff and what was going on at right. all. You know, they just take the information they want with blinders on. They go, this is what it is, and going well, from and- there. And we're hoping that doing what we're doing will answer some of the questions that maybe Michelle has and that Leander has. Right. Um, it may not. Uh-huh. I mean, it's one of those things. And, I, and I've told him from the get-go, and even right. John and I talked about, if I thought one of these women killed her, right. I'll be the first to arrest him. And, of course, John was like, look, if I thought one of my friends did, I'd drag him by the ear into the police station. No, no, I, <laughs> Especially yeah. after everything she's been through. Well, I know. I look at Lee having four kids, too. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, that's another thing, too. I'm going... How did the fuck did this happen? Like, I'm not right. there, so I have, I, listen, I have very fucking blunt questions, right? I'm right. a different doc, right? And I'm going, Whoa. I built the deck, right? Because right. I had four kids, so I made sure it was a little bit higher, the little spaces were in there, everything was going on, it was covered. You know, the house, we just, you know, I'm sitting there going, you know, that house was, uh, you know, fenced, this, that was 
built for my children so no one would get hurt. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I didn't just put, a, you know, you look at the other developments and they got these little 12 by 12 decks and I'm going, well, we got kids and we're running around, let's put a fence up and try to flatten things out and, you know, go from there. And it was, uh, it was, uh, you know, you go, Jean put the cameras in there because I used to walk in the house, right? And I, I was an asshole, right? I'd walk in and go, this is my house, my kids are here, I'm paying for everything, there's nothing that I don't see already. Right. And I'm, I don't care, listen, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna call, and now it wasn't a domestic thing, this, that, the case, but if my daughter's upstairs in her room, and she's like, hey dad, blah, 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 can you come over? I'm coming over, right? I mean, right. and we're still trying to figure that out. So she put cameras in, and after things calmed down, she left the cameras in, but never charged them because the cameras were there for me. Nothing, everything else, no security. You could see where the house is. It's in the back cul-de-sac. Right. You know, there's there's all new families. There's no there's no nothing. So she put in the cameras for me, and then we were good. We were getting better. So there was no reason for her to charge the cameras. In. And she, she she put the cameras in to shoot one over my bow, right? That's all that shit right. was. You know, hey, man, I got cameras. And I'm like, I don't even care if you had cameras either, you know? But, right. But... Like I said, we're we're in a very very good place right now. It was just figuring out the divorce and how that looked right, and how going. to function. And that was it. So we had some rough patches, you know. And it was like, oh, okay. Um, did you ever have any concerns that anyone, to include Jose or Tom Smith, had done anything to Tamla? No, no. I mean, and you know, I, I, I know you didn't know Jose. You knew right, he was right. dating Jean, right. but you know Tom Smith, yeah, correct? Right, yeah. And you never. So not even with Jose, you never had any concerns that one of them. I, I mean, I, the only person, her, yeah, the only her. person I didn't know really that well was Jose. But I've been enough around the guy. You know, if I let's put it this way, if I thought in, in any way I was not happy with his age, right? And you know, all that other dumb shit that was Jean going through. If I truly was not thought that Jose on any level was in any way, shape, or form uh, on par, he wouldn't have been around my kids from the start. I wasn't happy, but because I didn't, I thought it would affect them psychologically, but if I thought Jose was was any way, shape, or form could harm anybody on any level, and I have a daughter, right. <laughs> he wouldn't even been in the house. As far as Tom Smith and all these other people, I vacation with them. You know, right. their kids are my kids. I coach with them. I got these people. They're normal fucking suburbial fucking white back and everything else fucking people. Right. That's all they are. You know? So you've never seen any of them even drinking get aggressive like, with happy, anybody else happy or anything? fucking drunks. You know? I mean, Bridget uh, is doing Lego. She's, I, I, I vacation with her. She's never even seen the goddamn ocean the one time. So right. I'm like, okay. Um... Uh, I know Paula uh, for you, no problems at all. Uh, Stacy Smith, uh, Tom Smith. I'm trying to think who the hell else was there. Um, Nicole, Stephen. Jeez, those are the most stand-up people I know. Uh, Jennifer Morrell. Uh, I don't know that well, but uh, I think she's a cheer coach or something like that. I mean, I've you know seen her on occasion. She's always been nice. She's always loved over her case. Uh, Sarah Cochran is a teacher. I've seen her for years through right. some Emma's been five. So everyone on that list, I've never... Uh, that list was like, oh, Jean had a party. So basically what it was, was Jean was t- uh, is uh, November 6th. She was having a party. Huge Hell SU fan right. in Alabama. So the, the guys went downstairs to go watch it in the TV room and all that shit. I got a 95-inch TV down there. Who's not going to go down there, right? right? And the girls were out there doing humanity and cars and having fun drinking because they didn't want to go out. Plus, there's nowhere to, to go. Sorry. Right. But, so they were like, you know, there's nowhere to go and come in, you know, and have a good time. So we, we've always entertained. And always entertained. You know, we've always had people over coming and going, barbecues, this, that, friends, sleepovers, kids' house, everything else, which is fine. Um, so they just were like, hey, we're going to go and party and have a good time, enjoy ourselves, watch the game go from there. I think they were playing Cards of Humanity. I think uh, there was a reveal party over there or something like that. So there was just a constant way to go. And as Jean, going through the divorce, attached her, herself more to her friends. That was her anchor and how right. there were other things going on. Because um, not every marriage is perfect, so... Everyone was going up and down, up and down. So, you you know, you attach your people to your friends. So there we're going, try to be responsible. Hey, we're come to our house. Stay in. We'll yeah. get, all, get all banged up. We'll party, do stuff like that. We'll be fine. People sleep in. That's why I sleep over. Just do it all the time. Right. You know, people come over. I'm like, okay, no kids. They all go out. And then they're, they don't worry about Uber. They're like, oh, staying out. Enjoy themselves. Have a good time. Enjoy from there. You know, some people laugh. Some people came. 
know, I think uh, Marcy was there. She's a great, she's a great person. I've met her many, many times. Um, she had to go work. I think Bridget left and took, uh, grabbed her husband. A couple people left. A couple people right. stayed. You know, and we've always been comfortable. Where even me, I'm like, I'm done. I'm going to bed. Lock up. <laughs> you know, even yeah. when I was there, we were there. There's been plenty of times where it's one, two o'clock. I'm like, I got to work in the morning. I got kids in the morning. Listen, these guys just finished watching TV. Lock the doors. We're going to bed. It's not abnormal for you to go to bed before. No, else. no, we're all. I mean, everyone was adults, late thirties, forties, and stuff. Everyone knows how to act. They're all, you know, you're, you're. That was your group. That was your comfort zone. Right. So I'm going. I, even me. There's times in my old house in New Jersey. I'm like. I'm exhausted. Like right. these guys are. They're like, yay! You know, you get moms and they're just. I'm done. I'm done. And I go, guy, I love you. Stop Keep partying. Practice, I'm going knock to Knock yourself out. I'm out. Don't do anything stupid. I'm good. Don't blame you. Know? So that was that. That was a normalty to us having people come over and hang out and go from there. Okay. Um, and I didn't catch it when I was at your house. What is your fiance's name? Amanda O'Brien. Just in case. I need to, what's the phone number for her? Is uh, it the Y? Yeah. Back oh, no, day. trust me. I, I know I my mom. I used to know everybody's numbers. <laughs> uh, 770-634-4481. Okay. Yeah, that's just in case. I need to follow up with her. Um, anything that you can think of that I didn't ask you that we're going to talk about? No, I mean, um, I mean, everything else after the fact, that's why. I just, you know, I understand there's... You get, you go, why? Like, what happened, right? Yeah. So, well, not I, everybody wants to know what happened. Right. We may now, never know. I do know, and and I, of course, I've never seen it, you know, so that's all hearsay. Right. But I knew Tambo was also a partier, you know. It was it was well known. Um, matter of fact, you know, Tom and Stacy, you know, and a couple of things were like, hey, you know, she we went out drinking for Halloween, and she got all banged, like banged up. Matter of fact, Lee had to put her to bed or something like that, or like early. Like, so, and I get it, but that's all this age group. Like, they do. You know, they're getting all banged up and have a good time. Who smokes weed? Who does whatever the case may be? You just don't know at what extent. Right. right. And then you see the toxicology, and, and I wasn't surprised. You know, I wasn't. You know, who's, uh, who's doing whatever? Now, also, too, with new friends and new things, and not anybody's friend, you don't know people's tolerance level somewhere. Right. Like, if I sat down with Tom and Stacy or uh, uh, Paula or Nicole, if I went out there, I know where they're at. You know, yeah. drinking. Like, okay, I'm like, all right, you, 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 you get pretty fucked up. You spend them, enough yeah. time with them. So you go, okay, I don't know, or they knew what her tolerance level was. So, and also, too, is I don't know all my friends used to pregame. Right. So I had a couple people, you know, I, I, we'd go up to Cherokee all the time, and everyone's, like, drinking before we get up there. with her too right. smoking weed the whole month I don't know and and also I heard hearsay that they were partiers Hit her and Le- right. you know, Leander you know and I don't want to disparage anybody you know right. but I just think there was an accident you know right. I don't think anyone was ever capable of doing anything with malice or malicious intent um, the last person I heard was Brittany they gave her some gumbo and left her out with the swing Brittany is scared of her fucking shadow right um tom and stacy i've seen them intoxicated all the time and they're just happy drunks and and i don't see anything i don't know anything about jose but i heard that jean and and jose went to bed at the same time so the only people that were kind of hanging out there i know she tried to took her keys just like everybody else i'm like i'm going home right and people like you ain't saying going home (laughs) what are you talking Um, about besides bridget because I know she takes Xanax. Do you know if any of the other women there at the party ever took Xanax recreationally, whatever? And nobody, and I've told all of them this. Right. Nobody's in trouble for that. I'm not going and arresting no, no, anybody no, for doing no. drugs so, they shouldn't be doing. I don't I know, care. But. I don't know any about Anzac, Xantac. I know the weed smokers that were there. You know, Madeline is, uh, is, is that's her, her pot's her middle name, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. She's a burnt out hippie, okay? Um, I don't know anybody else. Uh, I know. Sarah, I know for a fact Sarah's straight edge because she's a teacher and I've just never seen her that I'm aware of. Um, Stacy and Tom, you know, they'll dabble, they're partiers. Uh, Steven is straight edge. I don't know anything about Jose at all. I'm assuming he's straight edge because he's a probate officer, but I don't know. Right. Um, he's, you know, he's a beer drinker, blah, 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 whatever. But anybody else, no. I just, know, I know everyone, everyone's like, yo, 
wine is our thing. You know right. I mean? So yeah. we're like, hey, let's wine down. You know what yeah. I mean? Drink so no, I don't know anybody who, did, who does Xanax. John does, and I can know that for a fact. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, well, you have my cell phone number. That's the number I called you from. Um, if you think of anything else that you think I might need to know, something that, you know, now that we're talking about it, sometimes that people's yeah, memories kind of jog. Yeah, so. Yeah, I, I, I ran through everything too. I'm going, this, what happened? What was yeah. going on the door? How'd she go? Did she fall? Did she turn over? It's like, the problem is, is I don't know. And number well, one, you don't know someone sober enough. And then what happens is when they're either intoxicated or they're involved with some type of drugs or mixing, you don't know how people act. Yeah, I yeah. have friends right now, they're the best people in the world. You give them a drink, they're an asshole. Then you get some people like me, I'm just a happy drunk. You know? right. So you don't know when you have the combination of what's going on. And then also, too, is, you know, when they saw her down there and they're saying she was, you know, and all that stuff, they would have did something right away. They, you get up, you're partying, you're groggy. I know Madeline downstairs, I finished the basement down there, so she was down there, and she said that, you know, she saw it back and forth, everything that right. you guys see, and you're, now you're trying to figure out what the hell happened. Yeah. You know, but it, in my mind, I'm going through the head, and I was angry at the time, because I'm going, what the fuck? Yeah. I'm going, no. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going, what the fuck happened? But also, too, but I'm going, I never, I never even thought anything as far as my first Somebody maliciously gut doing was trying something. to do something stupid. I'm going, these people got together to go and enjoy the LSU. Now, if it, I hear lure, this, no. They're, you're all a group of women. They're a FaceTime or this, that. I, I think yeah. they said they FaceTime Leander and, and then whatever the case and stuff. Yeah. They're, they're wide open as they possibly can be. Yeah. You know? And then everyone knows them to the points. There's some people that don't know Jean because it was a new friend to Tam. And then you see all the white people and you go, oh, okay, here we go. Yeah. Not, they didn't look and go, hey, Tam had five kids, Jean had four. They're about the same age. They go through the same struggles as a mom. You know, they're mom, right. mom, mom, or, you know, or, or a wife, wife, wife. Sometimes they lose their identity in those yeah. things as far as that. So they just go out there and have a good time and party and just try to blow off some steam. Right. So I think they hit it off really well and connected. And some people are not involved and kind of see that. I gotcha. But, um, All right. Well, thank you for your time, Matt. I really appreciate it. And like I said, if you think of anything else, don't hesitate to call me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, everything else is kind of... You, you know, yeah. They, everybody mind messed it.